Good afternoon, Lakers fans. My name is Thomas Caffarella, and without further ado, let's get right into our sports report. Two Lakers are going pro. From the men's ice hockey team, Shane Bull will be heading to the land of the 46 Peaks as he joins the Adirondack Thunder in, a team, in the team of the East Coast Hockey League, a team affiliated with the New Jersey Devils. On the new sheet of ice, he will also be joining former Laker hockey captain Travis Broman. Forward A.J. Ryan is heading south to Alabama to join the Birmingham Bulls in the Southern Professional Hockey League. Ryan will be joining a team coming off of a season high of eight points and five goals. A big congratulations to these two and best of luck in future seasons. And a few switch-ups in the SUNYAC as both men's and women's softball were supposed to play today. Softball hosting Geneseo and baseball hosting Brockport, but with bad weather brings new dates. Women's softball will now host SUNY Geneseo on Monday, April 15th, and on Saturday, the game against SUNY Brockport will be played on Sunday, the 14th, both games at home. However, the men's baseball team will lose that home field advantage as their games have been postponed and moved to fields in the central New York region. The game meant to be played today against Brockport will be played on Saturday, and on Sunday, the Lakers will face the Golden Eagles again in a doubleheader among the changeups. A Plattsburgh game, a Plattsburgh home game, has been postponed to a later date. And on the topic of men's baseball, the Lakers have started, a, have started off their season strong. They are currently second in the SUNYAC and on a five-game winning streak. Oswego Now reporter Ryan Revenal tells us what got the hot streak going. The Oswego State Lakers baseball team is off to a hot streak. The team has won their last five matches against various opponents, and this comes at an important time for the team. The Lakers claimed their fourth and fifth straight wins on Tuesday when the team played against the St. John Fisher Cardinals in a doubleheader. We spoke to Jelani Hamer, who had three homers in the first game and two in the second. He says he is looking forward to playing in the conference weekend games. Um, I think we know that when we're good, we're really good, so if we keep the bats hot, um, able to pitch the way we did today, um, able to make plays, um, we'll be able to play really well coming into the next two conference weekends. Really big weekend for us. The Lakers won the first game 20-14. In the second game, the Lakers scored 11 unanswered runs for most of the game, scoring two runs in the first inning, three in the fourth, five in the fifth, and one last run in the sixth. The Cardinals then scored one late in the seventh inning, but regardless, the Lakers ended up winning on a blowout 11-1. to We later spoke to Joe McLaughlin, who says that the team came ready to play in their game. Guys, when they were called up, they did their job. I, uh, I started the game off on the bench. The name was called, did my job, was asked to bunt, got the bunt down. And we just kept rallying, played a good game. Vibes were high, and uh, everyone did their job. We had a lot of fun. The team will play their next game on Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. when they take on SUNY Brockport in a doubleheader in Syracuse. Ryan Revenel, Oswego Now. There's been a major touchdown in club sports. Flag football across the United States is growing gl globally and rapidly, according to the NFL. Members of the Oswego co-ed flag football team came together to take photos in preparation for their first tournament in this club's history. The tournament is this weekend at RIT. The Lakers will play their first game at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Even though it's their first tournament, president of the club Dylan Zelensky is optimistic for the outcome. We're a bunch of brothers and sisters in there. Like, we work hard. We show up every practice with each other. It's a great, tight group. And we've been trying to build that, and it's awesome. The plan also has, the club also has plans to go national uh, this tournament at, in the fall. The tournament is normally hosted in Maryland. That's all for my sports report. Now, back to the desk. Thank you, Thomas.